Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to a channel we haven't reacted to in three years called Agent P Man 1. Agent P Man made a series called Fazbear Toddler Fun which is reminiscent of an old flash game from the early 2000s and within this flash game there's something wrong with it, something is haunting it and something is trying to get out almost or try get a message out to the player. We find out who that player is later on in this video but it's very very good and I highly recommend this if you haven't watched it before because there's nothing quite like this in terms of FNAF content. If I was to compare it to anything it would be like Walton Files episode 3 with the whole fam thing i love stuff like that like that kind of flash game thing that was going on there i'm not going to speak too much on this i'm just going to let you experience it for yourself i recommend you go watch this for yourself in your own free time go like the video go subscribe to agent p man one and show them some love but without further ado guys we're going to jump straight into this It's been three weeks since I last played the game. I haven't been able to sleep since then. I've been seeing things. Demons. Figures that move. Figures that move when you stare and are gone when you blink. I like the, the corner of your eye monster in SCP. And every morning after these attacks, I wake up with Max on my body. Last night they scratched my legs. It feels like they're trying to drag me. They're trying to drag me with them. Who? I'm dizzy, I'm confused, but I keep getting sucked back into playing. But this definitely has volume, right? Yeah. You still haven't got back to me. Jared isn't responding to my calls either. He sent you this game too, right? Did he get the shit I've been getting? Um. So Okay, so maybe it's not Michael. Maybe it's not Michael that's playing this, but whoever created it, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Please respond to my emails, Lance. You haven't been, you have, what? Well, haven't been reading them. Respond back to me. Fazbear Entertainment. Here we go. Okay, for some reason I decided not to read this part out, even though it seems very significant in terms of the story and the video. This is what it says. For Joseph, Fazbear Entertainment dedicates this game in memory of its co-founder's delightful son, Joseph Afton. Joseph was a caring, well-meaning child who meant so much to us here at Fazbear Entertainment. He lived a cherished life in a sincere family, made many friends and had not a care in the world. He was taken from us too soon, but the memories he left behind will bless us for eternity. Thank you for sharing your happiness and optimism with all those around you, Joseph. We hope future generations will find the same feelings of joy and excitement playing this game just as you did celebrating birthdays at Fredbear and Friends. May you and your sister be reunited together beyond the clouds for an eternity of peace and tranquility. Henry Emily, Fazbear Entertainment. Okay, so just a heads up, I was calling Joseph Evan or Ethan because I thought that's what their name was, so forgive me for doing that. I know that their name is Joseph now. But let's move on. You know, I'm going to just yap slightly here. But you know how in Help Wanted, how the game tester eventually gets sucked into the actual game and the consciousness swaps? What if this is a similar kind of thing where something's happening where they're being dragged into that world? Potentially. Okay, so this is where it ended last time. In the cove. Oh. There you are, friend. Here we go. Welcome to Pirate Cove. Let me turn the uh, subtitles on. Oh, it's auto-generated. Never mind. Screw that. Sure love to sit back and play around at the beach right about now. But first things first. We gotta find Foxy and the birthday cake. Mm-hmm. Looking for someone, Fazbear? Yeah, her, her. About time your willy stomper showed up. Game over, Foxy. Yeah, I don't know why Foxy's just like appearing and disappearing like a ghost. We need to get back to our show soon. Please hand over the cake. Ah, but what fun would that be? You just got here after all. Let's make things a little more adventurous. Oh, God. Great voice acting as well, by the way. I hope there's more like PSA kind of stuff because that animation from the last one was really good. Okay, so this is a map, obviously. X Max the spot. Oh, okay. So we gotta find the pieces. And it will show us where it is. That was your map to Adventure Bay. I've divided it into five pieces. Five Good pieces. There's five. always like themes about the FNAF games in here. Like there was about um, the color yellow, purple. There was about a golden bear. There's little like hints at things that hint at, you know, what, what's going one. on in the background. <laughs> 
Looks like we're not finished just yet. But look closely. There are five areas in the Pirate Cove. Maybe one of those five pieces from the map are located in each area. If we okay. find all five, we could put together the map and discover Adventure Bay. Okay. Hmm. But we're going to need some more tickets to get into more games. Say, based on what? You already have four tickets. Four tickets. That pirate ship over there might be a good start. Let's set a sail and find those map pieces. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, sailor circus. Okay, sand castles. Sailor trip. Here we go. It's so well made. This is. Sir, welcome aboard, matey. Me and Bonnie here are about to set sail to find the first missing piece of the map to Adventure Bay. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to explore the Great Blue Sea, but uh, how are we going to find an itty bitty piece of paper in this gigantic ocean, Freddy? That's we'll have to true, find to be fair. three sea creatures first what? by collecting them underwater. Sea creatures are very smart, and they could be able to help us find the piece of the map. Like dolphins. Ah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me, Fred. Mm. But, uh, I already knew that. Why else do you think I'm dressed? You dress up as a sailor all the time, Bonnie. What? You got a problem, no, Bonnie. I... You've got a problem, buddy. Really? Yeah. Talking? And off we go. The first sea creature we should try to find should be... Aha! An octopus. Okay. That's right. An octopus. What's an octopus, Freddy? An octopus is big, round, and has eight long legs called tentacles. Yeah. They live deep below and already the ocean legs, floor, yeah. and they can squirt out ink to escape predators. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, birthday buddy, make sure to find a fish that's big, round, and has eight tentacles. Try to be quick, though. Or you may run out of air. Wow. Just the, uh, you know, even in children's games, there's this kind of dark theme behind everything because there's a, the chance of you dying, and that's not really explored much in these mini games, I guess, or these flash games. But it is like you realize that is under there, like you're going to stop breathing, you're going to die. Okay, nice. There they are, look, get him. Congratulations! Oh my goodness! You found the octopus. Oh, good lord! That's not good. You weren't lying. He jizzed on him. They really can squirt ink. Say, look what it wrote on my map. It looks like dolphin. Yeah. A dolphin. It's telling us to go speak with the dolphin. Yeah. Oh, oh, dolphins are clever. I know all about dolphins. Dolphins are big, have long snouts. Mm and have one little fin at the top of their backs. Mm -hmm. They love to play and are very fast swimmers. And they're clever. Maybe that's what we need to look Very clever. Next. Well, all right then. Remember... No, it's super strange. Um, like, watching this genuinely feels like I'm just watching, like, a freaking kid's flash game right now. Look for a big fish with a long snout, a fin on its back, and swims very fast. But watch out for puffer fish. They can puff up to grow very big. Yeah. And they're very spiky, too. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. But what I will do is take a bath. Yuck. Yeah, you might want to. I wonder how, how hard is it to get that ink off of you? It must be pretty hard. Watch out for the puffer fish, man. Wait, where's the dolphin? Oh, there it is. Look, it's hiding. Are you going to die? Hang on, it says... What does that say? Stay longer. Two... Wait, wait, what's going on? Three... Oh, okay. The dolphin freaking jump Great scared work. him. You caught the dolphin. <laughs> say, what's so funny? Keep laughing like that, and you're going to make me laugh. <laughs> Does the dolphin know anything about a map by any chance? Oh, I know a bit of dolphin speak. It says in order to find the missing map piece, we need to speak to... 
A whale? Really? Whales are the biggest animals in the world. They look like really very large fish, have very big mouths, and a small hole at the top called Blue whales are humongous. Whales are very friendly and love to sink to each other underwater. Or what is the One biggest whale? Is it Great White? That's a shark though, isn't it? Sounds easy enough. It's not like they should be hard to find, right? Well, whales love to eat lots of fish, and they usually show up in places full of fish. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we collect enough fish, we can attract a whale. Oh, Smart great. thinking, Fred. Get as many fish as you can, birthday buddy. But watch out for sharks. Whales may be big, but uh, they're not the hungriest. This would be an interesting game, though, for sure. Like an actual like FNAF game where it's like corrupted kind of flash game. You know, what? it reminds me of um, the Walton Files, actually. Now that I think about it, the Walton Files episode three, where they're playing that little arcade game. It, it has exactly the same kind of vibe as that. I love that kind of vibe. Okay, what does that counter mean? That little counter in the top right mean? It said five. Is that just counting how many they've collected? Oh my god. Ooh, there's all shacks there. Oh, that's kind of creepy, man. Oh, god. It reminds me of, like, anything underwater in old, like, Nintendo games and stuff. PlayStation games. Even if there's nothing there, it's, it's just freaky as hell. I don't know why. Something's gonna jump out. You see how sound design is just, like... So key. Like, visually, there's not much going on, but the sound, like, you know, makes it. S there is something going on. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I landed on SpongeBob's Island. Bikini Bottom. Whoa. Wow, I there's X Max the spots. What just happened? Wait a second. That's. An X. X marks the spot. What? But there's really? an X on his head, so... Woohoo! We did it! Let's dig it out together and see what we find. One piece of the map. Good job, birthday buddy. Good lord. We found the first missing piece of the map to Adventure Bay. And not only that, but we've also found one ticket. We couldn't have done it without you. I'd be knackered at the end of this. Like, they want to go and adventure. The whole reason they're doing this is so they can go to Adventure Bay and adventure, right? But I'll just be tired. I'm like, can we do it in the morning? Well, howdy. Now that's what teamwork is all about. Oh, yeah. We just have four more pieces left to find. Keep up the great work. See you soon. Goodbye. 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 Right, yeah, so that's one done. I think I said this last time uh, when watching this, but the kind of that sound, the, the, oh, no, that sound. It reminds me of Rugrats. Remember Rugrats, the intro, it'd come out like that, it go, ba ba, and then it go, blah, 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 back. It reminds me of that. Let's see what Sandcastles is all about, man. I remember this reminds me of like um, back on DVDs. I remember I'd play, I think I said this before as well, maybe three years ago. Probably did, because it's the same brain and everything. But um, it, it, this game reminds me of this video, like this game. It reminds me of the old DVD games that used to be around. Like, say you'd get like Surf's Up or Lion King. There'd be like an extras menu with games in there. And you could like play them with the, the control. And it, it reminds me of that in a way. Why, hello, I heard you're looking for a piece of the map. So I thought I could help. That map piece has to be around here somewhere. Oh god, fix your mic, Chica. Hey. Yeah, you! Are you looking for something? How big are your feet, Hi, balloon, balloon boy? boy. A piece of Do you know where we can find it? You mean this? Yeah. Of course he has it. May we have it, please? Hmm. Yeah, I could give it to you. But first, wanna build a sandcastle with me? Uh, sandcastle? No, balloon yeah, boy. We're, we're going, before. mate. Oh, it's easy! I'll push Just him over, stick his face in the mud. No, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't. But it's Balloon Boy, okay? So I would, yes, I Looks would. Looks like I'll need your help. 
listen to Balloon Boy closely so that we can learn how to build the same castle. Okay. Okay. Take a good look at my sand castle. I forgot it already. Ready? Okay. Try to remember it and copy what I did. <laughs> Okay, left, left. That one on the right looks like freaking, I don't know, World Trade Center. I think it's purple windows. No, was it not? Okay, well, I'm screwed already. I have the memory of a goldfish, guys. Oh, okay, Foxy's freaking decapitated head there. That's nice, that's nice. Add that on top. Well, let's see what happens. Great work! This oh. sandcastle looks stylish! Hey, nice job! You followed my instructions! Yeah. Let's try making something else now! Oh god. This time, a sand animal! A <laughs> sa okay. Take a good- Okay, so it's a pig with red spots Let's and a pink my flag. Sandcastle. One, two, three, four, okay. Ready? Okay. Try to remember it and copy what I did. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing on the right, so you got 50-50 chance there. What's going on? Yep, spots. I mean, this is a little bit too easy at this point. What's going on? Is he trying to select it? What's going on? There we go. There's a pink flag. What's going on with Foxy here? No, it wasn't that one. Wow! You Tell you what, guys, this is completely unrelated right now, but I was walking through my city center on the Sunday, and there were these anonymous protesters wearing anonymous, like, masks, right? Hooked up with two screens, like, they were stood back to back, right? And they were showing pigs being killed, basically, in slaughterhouses. It was some form of protest. I don't know what, what, what it was. I'm guessing it was like a vegetarian, vegan protest, maybe. It was so it kind of like there was kids around and stuff. It's like, That's gotta be what the hell are you doing? Hand animals I've ever seen. Take my map piece and this ticket for your troubles. Hell yeah. You two have earned it. I don't even know what that is. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So we'll do the circus party next. Okay, you gotta do them in an order. Interesting. Hey, what are you doing? Who is playing this game? That freaking Bonnie. What was going on there? That's the sound that you hear where Bonnie's at your door, right? Well, howdy. Glad I was able to find you. I was gonna look for you, I promise. But I got a little distracted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody told me the circus was coming to town. But good news, while I was here, look what I found. That's right. It's one of those map pieces you're looking for. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't give it to you sooner, but look at this place. There's all kinds of fun going around here. They've got elephants. They've got metal. I can't see. I can't see anything. They've got balloons. They've got peanuts. They've got clowns. They've got. You're the only clown I see here, Bonnie. Clouds. <laughs> oh, it's Circus Baby. Interesting. Clouds. And they stole our map piece. Gosh, I wish I could get it back. But to tell you the truth, I'm afraid of clowns. You're gonna have to teach those- Don't be afraid of clowns, man. Are you gonna just squeeze their nose a few clowns, times? what's right, little buddy? Get in on their act and get our prize back. <sighs> it's must be a like Phoenix I'll Wright. save this picnic for another day. Ace Attorney. But good news, buddy. I came prepared with loads of my homemade cherry pies. Whenever you see a clown pop up through one of these pipes, throw one of these pies at him. But remember, Clowns are quick thinkers, so you'll have to think fast. It's like whack-a-mole, right but with time. pies. Don't hit them when they're holding balloons, though. 
pay close attention. Ah! Oh, that does it! Stop those clowns! Don't hit them when they've got balloons. <laughs> this guy sucks. Come on, man. Throw them! What is happening? Did they just step away? Are they AFK right now? Are they eating? Freddy Faz tips, stop it. Hang on, go back. Let's see what that actually said. To catch the clowns, pay attention to the pipes and click on them as soon as they pop out. And it just says, stop it. It's a lovely tip right there. What's going on? You know why you deserve it. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit strange now. Everything's going a bit weird. 35. Okay, there's a timer. Yeah, mate. Maybe start. Maybe you can't throw pies. There we go. There we go. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, this is unplayable. IGN would rate this 10 out of 10 though. Okay, so... Okay, there's still a countdown going on even after exiting. So what's going to happen when it gets down to 1? so scary after all. In fact, I'd say that was kind of funny instead. <laughs> Now, I believe you have something that belongs to us, little clown. What the hell? What language was that, buddy? Yippee! Our third map piece. And a ticket, too. Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you for giving it back. Now, no more stealing from now on. Thanks for helping me get our high jumper. piece back, little buddy. As well as hey, yeah, yeah, I ain't no little buddy. All right, hey, don't talk to me like that, Bonnie. Me realize clowns. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, little bro. Aren't so scary. Let's get out of here anyway, just in case. <laughs> okay, so there's two more games to go. That holly bush, jungle cups, jungle drums. I don't know why that that. Lot of voice line in Alley Noir sticks with me. It just does. Jungle drums. Hey there. Okay. I'm happy to see you. I was exploring this jungle in hopes of finding one of the map pieces to Adventure Bay. Sure you were. Uh, you're not just a serial killing psychopath, Freddy. You're just out in the wilderness looking for their next target. Hey, I have a. Well, you know what? The the whole man and bear situation. So There's Freddy Fazbear. I want. Hey, listen, if a man. And a bear in the woods. If it's Freddy Fazbear, I'll, I'll happily go into the woods with Freddy Fazbear. Follow me. Oh, we found it. Look, it's another piece of the map. Yeah. Hooray. What's going to happen now? Could you sound a little bit more enthusiastic, Freddy? Come on now. Oh, no, it's one of Foxy's mates. Well, this precious treasure of yours now belongs to me. What? Okay. Captain Snugglebus. Oh no. We've run Captain into a dirty, what? rotten, thieving, stealing pirate. Whoa, Freddy. God, that sounded like a slur the way you said that. Calm down, buddy. What do you want with that map piece anyway? Finders, keepers, boss for brains. You're in me territory. I know treasure I find in this giant jungle is mine. Right. Oh dear. Is there anything we can do to have that piece of the map? Well, hmm. Ah! You want your hands on me, treasure? Then you'll need to beat me a game of cups. Cups? Oh, okay. For no pirate across the seven seas has ever beaten my challenge. Not even the old sly fox himself.
It ought to be right. a real treat watching you two. It's a scam, that's why. Yo -ho 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 -ho. Challenge accepted. No challenger game is too tricky for us. <laughs> Very well, Bear. Right. Before he stands. Yeah, this is such a scam, guys. Never, if you're in London or in like a major city or stuff and you see people like pretending to win or they're winning at games like this, just know that they're part of like a group and they're, they're making it out that people can actually win it. But as soon as you pipe up, they, they just completely scam you. So don't, don't approach these things, guys. Three cups and the treasure. When I put them down, pay close attention to the cup that hides the treasure. I'll move them around so quickly that you'll never be able to remember the correct cup. Yo -ho 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 -ho. Okay, here we go. Let's see how quickly this For goes this then. this game, we'll need to pay close attention. Watch the cup with the map piece carefully as the cups are moved around. Okay, Freddy, thank Good you. Good luck, swashbucklers. What? I'm kidding. Yo -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's just going to be one of those things where, you know, it's like you, you keep your eye on it, but then there's something happening in the background. Hope you were paying on the attention. left. It's on the left. Now make your pick. It's on the left. You silly goose. <laughs> who's playing this game? I want to know who's playing this game. Oh. Turns out it's a child. A sailor loses at my own game. Better luck next time, you treasure hoarders. Don't give up, birthday buddy. Try again. Make sure to pay attention. Stop being Do a loser. Make Let's sure to pay again. attention. Pay, atten pay attention, you idiots. No wonder no one loves you. Oh, that was unfair. It's in the middle. Attention. It's in the middle. Now right? Make your pick. Middle. Pick. Wait, what? This is unfair. Okay. Well. Shrek? <laughs> that was awful. Hello, was that Frick? Forgot to warn about the flashing lights. I'll probably put that uh, as a title at the start. Okay, so we got one more game here. The Sky Highs. Don't give up, birthday buddy. To beat Captain Snagglepuss's game, You'll need to remember with remember. Freddy, we beat it, mate. Remember, remember, remember. Okay, what's interesting about uh, these games as well is that it, it uses voice lines in a very, very uh, in smart way, where it'll be like a double entendre kind of thing. There was one in the first game, in the first video of Balloon Boy, where it says, "Can you help me match the colours?" Um, to the correct thing and then it will just keep playing saying that can you help me can you help me can you help me and then you just like help me and then you see him crying and i think that's what's happening here it's asking whoever the person is playing or whoever the game was made for to remember and i'm guessing the game was probably made for michael because in the last video they say michael could have stopped what was happening but he was too scared to do anything because he was scared that the same would happen to him <laughs> Whoa, what happened there? That was a little bit. Sh Oops, an error has occurred. This may be an abn abnormality in the game's files, a system overrun, or you may be using an unstable illegal copy. Restart the game immediately. If the system refuses to comply, please return this disc and or have it examined. I remember back when, like, um, the missing cake chase. The missing cake chase? <laughs> Who's missing cake? Yeah. 
This is looking good. Okay, this is making me feel ill, I'm not gonna lie. I say try again. So in the last one, I think it was movies. Oh, here we go. Games. Oh, so these are the different kinds of games that you can play through this. So these were the ones that we played before. I don't think they played this one yet. There was this one here, the Chica one in the first video. They skipped over that because apparently it was too personal or something. I don't know what the hell Chica said to him, but it obviously struck a nerve. Struck a nerve, did I? Okay, it's was it fun time, Foxy? That's Bears Art Studio. Wait, your work videos play. Oh my god, that's horrific. Hey, you made it just like Super Mario 64. I have to my brand new art studio. <laughs> but Freddy, what on Glory's Green Earth is an art studio, you ask? Well, here, you can create anything you want to. Whether that's drawing a new member of the Fazbear Band, uh, creating a rocking new hit solo, or even directing This guy's make me feel super uncomfortable, I can't lie. A hilarious story with me in the game. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a look around the place and let your imaginations go wild. <laughs> well, I best not hold you any longer. Have at it, Rockstar. And you know where to go if you're craving some deliciously fresh pizza. <laughs> that man sounds like he's he's fit to cry his eyes out. He's gone through a divorce and he's just trying to keep it together. Okay. That's a very uncomfortable sound. Everything, everything about this feels like a fever dream, man. It feels like something from a dream. Okay, is there nothing to do? Do you have to, can you just exit out? Oh. What happened? Oh, okay, he's doing the art stuff. Interesting. Hey there! Welcome to my draw- Okay, the animation kind of changes. On 1000! Not only can you use this canvas to draw anything you can imagine, but you can also add in props, characters, and even draw up some funky new brush types. Ooh. This can say help. So this is like the first time the actual, other than like text being on the screen of, of the person editing this together, this is the first time this person is communicating. Hello? Oh, it's going to be like freaking, um, what's his name's diary? Tom Riddle? Is it Tom Riddle from Harry Potter? Okay. He's trying to like communicate with the spirits. I've got a little boy here, and he's saying, fuck off. I was doing an impression of, yeah, those clairvoyant media, yeah. Oh, hello, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, I've got another one coming through. <laughs> oh, they really don't like you. They're saying, piss off, you grotty hey, little wanker. Star. Welcome to Fazbear's Coloring oh Book Contraption. Choose any of the pages presented to you and make them spark with color. Right. It's as easy as one, two, three. And don't forget to Sorry, can you do that again? I, I didn't catch that. In my good easy side. as what? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. So it's just color by number or... Why have they got to make Chica look like that? Why and uh, oh, hang on. Okay, has someone like started working on this already? What the hell's going on with Foxy? You like half unlockable? 
There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, it's already been dead. Okay, something's gonna happen. Oh, it looks like there's... Hang on, fuck, he's gone. Where'd he go? Oh, there's like handprints all over the... Is that them trying to get out of the screen like that? I feel like that this game definitely is haunted, right? Okay, so you just chose the little frames there. Welcome to the Make a Thing Studio. Oh my god. What? Okay, sorry, but why are they making Chica like this? They've given a side boob. Oh my goodness. Toy Chica was like Toy Chica was enough. Why what, what what's going on here? To draw something into the story that one of us will interact with. Doesn't that sound cool? Yeah, sure. Though. Maybe I'll draw myself some pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Right, okay, so what game was this? I was completely distracted. What game is this? Uh, so you got to put them in certain situations. Oh, is that Metal Gear Solid 2? Do you remember in Metal Gear Solid 2 when they had that cutscene creator and you could swap out certain characters for other characters? That was way ahead of its time. Pizza flag? Oh my god, that actually looks like Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks, that's not a name. It's not Sandy Cheeks, is it? From Spongebob. It is, right? Whoa. Sandy Cheeks. Sounds like they, they sat naked on a beach. Hey there, friend. You from around here? Oh, <laughs> cool. This is really well done. Like, super well made. Oh my god, I just committed suicide. Where'd it go? This is really well made. It'll be interesting, it'll be so cool to see this person actually make like um, a game like this. You know, with Scott's kind of like, I think it'll be such a good game actually that. Like just this whole, ha this idea of a haunted flash game. It's really, really cool. What is that thing? That's a robot. I don't like this. Uh, uh, uh. He just shit himself. I need to stop being so vulgar, man. What's wrong with me? I need to stop. Sorry, Lord. It's Iron Man. Souls don't die. Where's my space blaster? Oh, wow. See what I mean by like the veggie tail kind of animation? This, this is what the PSA looked like. Well, without the cartoon, it was all just like what that robot looked like. I want to I wanna see one of those Help again. That was really good. Help the giant robot. Throw me my handy space blaster so I can defend myself. <laughs> okay. No, straight away, I'm too immature for this. Okay. Okay, so you got to paint that gun out. Will he shoot it with anything? Or does it have to be that gun? Come on, you can do it. What are you doing? You didn't even help him? Oh, there's Foxy sliding down. What are you doing? I don't have a gun and I'm getting mauled to death. You see Freddy getting like beaten up by that robot. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it's like a YouTube poop. <laughs> you didn't save him. No one did. Okay, so this is meant to be like um, a whole kids getting killed again thing. Interesting. I like how the, like it, it's like a, a parallel between what's happening. Okay, let's make some music, man. Let's get some Guitar Hero on the go. Let's 
What's that, love? I can't, I can't hear you. Can you talk up? What? You know what this reminds me of? Sorry to pause again, but Sims on the Nintendo DS, I think it was. And you you had a DJ station and you could make a beat at the DJ station and you could record your own voice. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'd make some really stupid stuff. Good times, man. I think it was The Sims 2 or maybe 3. I can't remember. But it was based in a hotel, I think. Nice. Groovy. I remember having that kind of app on my old phone. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Got you. It's like that website where you can... You can have those guys singing you can drag it down and they make a different song each time Susie Susie Gabriel Gabriel okay there's look there's five buttons so these are the names of the children that were all killed interesting so Susie Gabriel Joseph, maybe. Charlie. Oh dear. This isn't good. Uh oh. Looks like the power went out. I thought we were good until next month. <laughs> See here. Mama! 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 <sighs> Is he saying mama? You know, that's really disturbing to think of like. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that actually. That's like as if that was what the kid was saying before they were killed oh my god <laughs> looks like we'll need to turn the power on another way want to tag along it's a bit dark in here help freddy uh put the power what's that fix the power let freddy fix it himself oh my god <laughs> he really didn't like that he's not gonna like us now Susie. Fred. Oh. How have they how have they Gabriel. done this? Yeah, you know, how have they created this environment where it's like just it's not meant to be scary, but they've made it terrifying now. Jeremy. It's really good. Cassidy. Cassidy. Ho ho ahoy there! And welcome to Fosbear's Filmmaker, okay. where fantasy and fun truly does come to life. Nice. Choose whichever characters you wish to partake in a. So why isn't like why isn't like they kind of like man you know what I'm not even gonna say it. Mighty no. and tremendous. Say they they drew Chica in a certain way. Why not just draw Foxy with like absolutely ripped abs and like you know what I mean? Just don't. I know I know Scott did that in the Freddy in Space game that he made. Be portraying me as some sort of scaredy cat. Like a certain bear I be knowing. But most importantly, be having a jolly old time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so Foxy's just like the troublemaker, basically. Here we go. Okay, so we got like we got the bedroom from FNAF 4. I'm guessing this is number two here. And what is this? Can we go into the bedroom? Uh I wanted to see the bedroom. Oh, okay. You can put the kids in there. My first film by J.A. It was like any other day, alone with my thoughts. I'm afraid to go out because you always picked on me. Today wasn't any different. Oh, okay. So this is like FNAF 4 minigame. Well, between nights. This is pretty cool. Ugh. This kind of animation style is so unnerving. It's like a mixture between claymation and like CGI. I never had real friends, just people who stuck around because they were told to. I could see it in the way they talked to me, the way they all talked to me. Nobody really cared about me. 
Today's your birthday, isn't it? Did everyone forget your presence? I bet they're waiting for you at Freddy's. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. This isn't. These aren't thoughts. We should head inside, anyways. It's pouring out here, and I don't want to catch a cold. Okay, get ready with the the. Th well, that's terrifying. Look, it's your whiny little brother. Shouldn't he be at the party already? What are you even doing here out in the rain? You're supposed to be inside. Can't you do anything right? Look, he's crying again. Let's go. Okay. Well, his brother's kind of looking after him, I guess. I don't understand, Michael. You know I loved you so much. You know I didn't want to go. Why did you let them antagonize me? Well, I like where this is going. I like this. I like the soundtrack as well. It's really good. I'm afraid, Michael. I don't want to go. Please don't make me go. We have the whole building rented out just for you. So don't be ungrateful. You're his favorite. Daddy's little what? Soldier. Stop being so selfish. To Ethan? I cried and I cried as tears went down my cheeks. You had yours turned. And his cheeks turned. You turn the other cheek, as they say. Wow, your brother is a bit of a baby, isn't he? It's hilarious. Why don't we help him get a closer look? I'm sure he'll love it. Come on, guys, let's give little man a lift. He wants to get up close and personal. Okay, here we go. You could have done something. Hey guys, I think the little man said he wants to give Fredbear a big kiss. On three. One, two... Oh dear. Two little kittens of one stormy night. Yeah. To quarrel and then to fight. But you didn't know what you put me through. That's the way the world goes. What's happening? Ah! Uh, <laughs> that's disgusting. I'm guessing that's how he saw him, how he saw that he saw him as a monster, right? Even in death, I still thought that I should have forgiven you. This is sad. But you decided to hide me away. You proved me wrong. Again. You hated the thought of me that much. I still remember that final voice. Sorry, my... But it meant nothing. I was starting to blame myself for a lot of what happened after. I thought I was too afraid. I thought I should have done something more. But now I know. And that wasn't fair, was it? It was you who let me die and ruined our family. You never loved me back. All you did was lie to me. It was all your fault. This is awesome. Like, genuinely, this is really freaking cool. I like this. Really well made. They're not really here. I know that. But I think they'd never let this go. I know you haven't either. That's why you still come back, is it? Even when you're not here, I'm still with you at night. The 
they're still with you at night. Good lord, what is this? What kind of freaking sleep paralysis demons are these? So is it saying that this is Michael that sees all these? Because this was like this was um, suggested to be. I'm get. Is it Ethan who died? Evan, one of the two. I always get that mixed up because I thought that bedroom was the little kids. Imagine being responsible for your like your brother's death, though. Man, that would that would. I'm sorry. For everything. Please. Stop. Oi, okay. So, the person playing this definitely is Michael. What, that like, so he can't shut, because I think in the last episode he said it, 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 like, I can't stop playing or something like that. Something's drawing him to this. And he can't put it away. I guess it's guilt that brings him back. Because he knows, like, this is his only way to communicate, maybe, with his brother. Man, it's a shame. Hello? Is that fire? Or campfires? Oh, hang on. There's something there. Is that Foxy? Yeah, so Foxy. That's why we've been seeing Foxy. Foxy is the little kid, the little brother. And he's kind of haunting this game. What do you want from me? Are you real? S. The universal S. Everyone knows this S. But what is this? What is this? That doesn't look, uh... Doesn't look good. That's where's that studio. Are we going back to the the home? It's one heck of a freaking flash game. It's got so many different subjects. Oh, special. What's what's here then? I have a kind of theory. I have a kind of theory. Surprise! Congratulations, birthday buddy. You succeeded in helping us get our gig back and performing our show on time. Oh, nice. I knew you wouldn't let us down. You sure did us a great favor, pal. You're welcome at Freddy's anytime you'd like. Great work. Say, when are we going to dig into that delicious cake? Funtime starving. Me too. No, me the most. <laughs> Who's that? One moment, guys. Before we dig in, I think our birthday buddy deserves that big birthday prize. Okay. A photo. Smile. Oh my god, the certificate goes out to a brave, smart, and clever friend of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So you can see there's... Wow. So this is the person that was playing the game here on the right. But that's... Fu oh. Interesting. So th yeah, this is the brother because he was wearing the foxy mask, right? My god. Fazbear Entertainment. Okay. Hello, Peter. Jeez. Is he gonna go back to special? Oh, okay, he went to movies. 
different, but archived. So the safety first one was the PSA. I highly recommend you go watch that, guys. It was actually really, really good. Really fun to watch. Look how big Freddy is, man. And you remember how we rehearsed it, right, nephew? You sure did. Good. Now to focus on that stage fright of yours. But Uncle Fredbear, how's a big, fat, scaredy cat like myself gonna get over some stage fright? I'm like a cock without the sloth! Hey, now, there's a fire where I'm from. Now, don't beat yourself up, kid. Listen, during those five minutes before our first show, I had so many butterflies in my stomach that it tasted like a spring picnic on the inside. We only really took a song and a dance with my bunny, buddy, bunny bill, and what do you know it? They all loved us. Uh -huh. You just gotta give it your all on stage, ready? And in no time... I'll be the next best bear in the business. Better than all the bears that came before. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Thanks, Uncle Fred Bear. Uncle you're the Fred smartest bear. animal I know. I guess if I want my first show to stick the landing, I ought to show them all what me and the gang are made of. Hey, <laughs> that's my nephew. Now there's a couple of minutes left before our show starts. Finally got the guts to bring praise to the fast bear name. <laughs> oh boy, do I. But I'll be honest, I don't think I can ever have the guts you have, Uncle Fred Bear. What, because I taught you everything you know? <laughs> because I have a proper diet. Hey. <laughs> I guess that too. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. I'm going to kill you. Come on, fellas. The show starts in one minute. <laughs> Leave it to the Fazbears to be late for everything. Come on, Foxy. Be nice. We are ready when you are, boys. We're on our way. Right, okay. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. You know that slap up. They all came before. What? I have a theory, and we'll see if this... Okay, so that's Michael. Is there any more? Okay, that's someone else. Oh, jeez. That's terrifying. <laughs> Ready for another adventure? Right. So in closing, I believe that this game was made by Henry Emily, right? And somehow Joseph managed to get their soul or whatever inside the game to possess it. Now, I believe what happens after is Joseph somehow finds a way to email or get this game to the people that bullied him and to who were responsible basically for killing him including his brother and like three other people potentially and that's why the person at the very start he says you haven't been responding to my emails and there was two people vance and jared i think and i believe that the reason they're not responding is because they're both dead as you saw at the end there the the photo that was taken shows that michael was actually being haunted by the spirits of the children or whatever or at least two people because uh joseph and his sister were both killed by animatronics and i believe this is what he's seeing in the corner of his vision at the very start he says he's seen figures in the corner of his vision and when he blinks they're no longer there i believe what we're seeing is what he's seeing and this is probably now either they kill him off or they're just there to haunt him for the rest of his life. But I believe that the other people that were involved were killed, and that's why they're not responding to Michael anymore. But there we go, guys. That was a really, really enjoyable video. I hope you guys did enjoy it too. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and subscribe to Agent P-Man. Go watch the videos for yourself. Go give them watch time. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Um, your support means the absolute world to me. So thank you for your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.